Isaac Newton, born in 1643, explained the mechanism by which the planets moved. And not just how planets moved, but how everything moved, from planets to apples. Newton was a towering intellect. It is astonishing what he did. His moment in the history of science is a sharp break in which the power of mathematics is really brought to bear on aspects of the physical universe. He is what set us down this path of using mathematics to describe the universe, showing that math, for some reason, is the language of the cosmos. Kepler observed through his data the attractive effects of the sun. It acted like a giant magnet. Might the planets also be like magnets? Galileo had theorized about the rate of acceleration of falling bodies, and he realized that regardless of their mass, falling objects always fall at the same rate. But years later, Newton had something to add to Kepler and Galileo. The great insight Newton had was to bring Galileo and Kepler together and to realize that the things that make projectiles move and fall on Earth is the same thing that makes the planets go around the sun in the skies. In a sense, the planets are falling toward the sun. Just as Galileo's falling bodies fell towards the Earth. The crux of it all is gravity, the strange action at a distance that holds everything together. Newton didn't just observe gravity, he drew it up as a provable equation, showing that gravity was the energy, the tether, that kept matter, objects like the Earth and the planets, from flying headlong into interstellar space. Gravity the attractive force that affects all matter in the universe gives the universe order, and gravity is described by the science of physics. Newton created physics. He was the person who first saw the fundamental laws. Underneath all of these observations, Newton's laws explained almost everything. Newton postulated the laws of motion, the universal rules of gravity. He begins a new era in science, using observations and mathematics to describe the laws of nature. He could, in fact, show that the rate at which an apple was falling to the Earth was directly related to the way the moon was falling around the Earth, because he understood that the same laws that led to the motion of the planets around the sun led to the motion of the moon around the Earth. Newton's great book, The Principia, revealed that the tides, the velocity of orbiting planets, even the shape of the Earth could be explained through the pull of gravity. Because everything with mass exerts a pulling force on everything else with mass. The moon pulls the oceans, the earth pulls the moon, the sun pulls the earth, and the closer these objects are to each other, the stronger gravity pulls. Newton's Principia is such an engulfing work of genius that it almost makes up for one disconcerting fact. Although Newton formulated the laws that govern gravity, he never explained or even understood why it works. And gravity, when you think about it, is bizarre. Understanding how the Earth knew where the sun was, to go around it, what happened if the sun suddenly moved, what would the Earth do? This action at a distance is something which he gave up on. He said, I'm just not going to worry about that question, because the laws work. Although physicists still struggle to define gravity, Newton had gone far in revealing it. 200 years later, 
Albert Einstein would rival Newton's genius, not only creating new laws of physics, but reinventing the universe.